So I hear people have a lot of difficulty with spawning grounds. A lot of people like to skip this rotation because they see spawning grounds is coming up. I think I know what the issue is. Now, most of the time when I play on freelance, one problem seems to occur the most. This is probably the most common issue I see, and that is painting. One of the things that you need to understand about Salmon Run, specifically with guns that aren't particularly good with mobility, is you're going to get hung up and lose consistently if you're not painting every single surface. If you have adequately turfed every surface, you are able to escape more, and then you're able to go towards the boss salmonids extremely quickly. It's one of the most fundamental basic things that you need to learn in order to improve in Salmon Run. So take a look at this footage from a high level executive VP player. As you can see, every single second they have an opportunity to, they paint the surfaces. That way, if they run into any situations, they can swim out of harm's way, swim up walls, and just in general, get away from boss salmonids and lesser targets like the small fry, the chum, and the cohawks. Now, in a few of my shorts, I talked about the importance of weapon rolls. So you might be asking, whose priority is it to turf the map? Now, unfortunately, I'm probably going to give you the most non-answer ever and say everybody should. But generally, the people who have the most mobility and can paint the surfaces extremely fast and well should be the ones painting the most on the map. Almost every class of weapon has one of these good painter and mobility in their set. And by no means is this list exhaustive. But things like the Splattershot Jr., the Dually Squelcher, the Splattershot, the Splushomatic, the Reflux, and the Tri Stinger, the Tri Slosher, most of the rollers like the Carbon, the Flingza, and the Dynamo should all be doing something to paint the walls and the floor of every surface in the map. Again, try to use every open opportunity to paint the map. Typically, you'll see in high pro fresh and all of executive rank, players painting the surface between waves and after waves. This is a perfect opportunity to do so because at the start of every wave, you start with a full ink tank and you're able to have more time at painting surfaces. Now, does this necessarily mean that you're going to beat every wave now? No, definitely not. But by doing a small step like this, not only will improve your gameplay, but it'll be much easier for your teammates to just move around, especially if you don't have a good weapon like a bamboozler or if you have one of the many splatling weapons like the Hydra. It just makes moving around so much easier.